Some brewers in New Jersey are worried that if new regulations are strictly enforced, business will dry up. For us to only do 25 events, that means we'd have to probably be open only one month for the whole entire year. Denise Ford Sawadogo opened Montclair Brewery four years ago with her husband. He'd been home brewing for like years at home in our basement, doing a lot of experimental things, blowing up some things every now and then too. I have a business background, so I went and I did research and I saw that the laws had recently changed to now make it where it actually would make some economic sense for someone to open up a brewery in New Jersey. As of July 1st, breweries like Montclair must follow a special ruling from the state's Division of Alcoholic Beverage Control. It says breweries don't have the same privileges as a sports bar or restaurant. Breweries must now give virtual or in-person tours before serving drinks. They can't sell food besides things like chips or nuts. And they're limited on how many events they can host each year. Sawadogo is frustrated that these rules were delayed for three years but still allowed to take hold. Breweries is a part of the fabric of New Jersey business, and it helps other businesses as well, including the restaurants. I mean, the same way that they allowed us to um, create our parking lot into our beer garden, I thought because I felt like, okay, they are finally like smartening up and realizing, hey, you know what, let's help small business instead of killing small business. Right is where really coming out of the COVID-19 era and, and hopefully celebrating a quote unquote normal summer of 2022. And I can tell you, it's, it's really deflated a number of the brewery owners that have called me. They just seem very defeated. Senator Michael Testa says he's working on legislation to loosen some of these regulations. One of his targets is the rule that says breweries can only host 25 events a year if they're open to the public. The amount of events that they're allowed to have is, is greatly handcuffing them in their ability to earn a good living. That's part of our DNA. That's part, I mean, our slogan is building community one, one beer at a time. So it's not only one beer at a time, but part of that building community is giving the community things that they're like yearning for. Eric Orlando leads the Brewers Guild of New Jersey. He's afraid that the special ruling will limit New Jersey's craft beer scene. I don't know if folks are going to pick up operations and move to places like Pennsylvania and New York, which have a much better regulatory climate for craft brewers. But there are folks out there that are looking at, you know, things like leases, things like buying new equipment and saying, do I really want to continue my investment in the state? And what's my long term plans here? The ABC claims that these rules will increase stability in the marketplace and foster competition. In Montclair, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.